Hi, I'm uh, Rowan Hook. I live in the Marlborough Sounds. So I'm a keen diver and uh, got my dive certificate and my boat certificate. Just really keen to learn about the salmon industry. That's great news because those are the skills you can use as a shift worker on a salmon farm. Mark Priest is the sea farm manager for King Salmon and he'll be showing you around. So what makes a good apprentice? A good apprentice is someone who's, um, who enjoys living in the great outdoors, working in the Marlborough Sounds. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Um, someone who can get on well with a small team of people um, and doesn't mind staying away from home for a bit of time. The farm is located 15 minutes out of Picton and it floats on air-filled pontoons locked together and moored to the seabed. Dip your feet in here, Ryan. This is to take off any um, bacteria or stuff you might have come in contact with while, while you're on the land. Oh yeah. Each pontoon has four 20 by 20 metre nets that are filled with 30,000 fish per cage. That's a lot of fish, so Rowan's back out on a boat to do a quick check to see if any seals have broken into the farm. Seals are the wolves of the sea, and the farm has a reinforced outer net to keep them out. The seals will eat probably five or six kilos of fish a day. Wow. Um, so you multiply that um, out over the year and they'll probably take out about a tonne per seal. So it's a lot of fish. Yeah. Salmon farming is growing fish in the sea. What we do is we have broodstock down at our freshwater hatcheries. We strip the eggs from those broodstock, um, grow fry, and then move the smolt to sea when they're ready to come to sea. Um, feed them up once they're in sea. This is uh, our fish food. It's made up of um, fish meal and fish oil. Yeah, um, really hard. <laughs> vitamin premix. So this here falls down into the spinner and flies out over the pen, yep. and the fish eat it. It's really important with our fish feeding to make sure there's absolutely no waste. So what yep. we use is the sensor, we set it at five metres depth. The pellets fall through this hole yep. and thus they're detected by the sensor. So it's electronic? So it's electronic, yep. yep. The sensor readings are downloaded to computers so the salmon feed can be monitored. Farming fish is a bit more efficient than, um, than fishing for them. Basically we can feed them um, and grow them a lot more efficiently than you can in the wild. The fish are anaesthetised by Morris to avoid stress during the weighing process. Rowan chucks on a dry suit so he can have a go. So when you pick the fish up, Rowan, you just got to be really careful um, to make sure you keep your hands away from their eyes and the gill area. So do they bite? <laughs> no, no they don't bite. They've got little teeth, but you'll be right. So, oh. Yeah, no, it's okay. Let them go. You're right. Next one. <laughs> That's it, nice and fair. It looks like he's finally got one on the scales. Ah, don't bite me. Rowan's been working hard, so it's time for a cuppa in the farm living quarters. It's also a chance to catch up with apprentice Lisa. We have some work experience. Yep, sure am. Uh, come down, we'll have a seat. So uh, how long have you been working here? Um, I've been working here for five months now. How much time do you get off? Um, we work seven days on and we stay on the barge and then we have seven days off. So what do you do for recreation after work? After work you can do um, pretty much anything you like. Quite often we go for a scallop dive or for a fish. Yeah. We've also got sky, books and things like that. Lisa lives in Dunedin and carpools with workmates from Christchurch once every two weeks. And then in your week off you get a chance to go away, catch up with friends, go for a snowboard, all those sorts of things. You know, things that people can't do on a two day weekend. You get to do every second week. Well, Rowan, it's good you've got your dive ticket. Um, we're going to hop in the water, yeah. um, have a bit of a search round, look for some, see if we can find any holes, and if we find any, we'll repair them. How cool. does that sound? That sounds great. Let's go. Diving is an important role. We need to check the nets to make sure that there's no holes in the nets and the fish can't escape. Basically, our whole farming operation is underwater, so we need to get down there and have a look at it. They're all schooling the bubbles around the circles, this is neat. Get dry quickly, Rowan, because there's more work to do. In order to maintain the nets, they have to be lifted up and the fish transferred to another pen. Once that is done, they can be patched and then cleaned with a high pressure water blaster. What you've got to do is you've got to walk out in the net. You want to be careful so you balance right. Will this hold me? 
<laughs> yeah, no, definitely hold you. Sure? Yeah, no, easily. Just out in the middle there, you might, might get wet feet. What? <laughs> oh, nah, just joking, you'll be fine. <laughs> I am in the water. You lied to me. <laughs> Let's have a go. Yeah, yeah, get into it. Cleaning helps water flow and extends the life of the nets. Some of the big myths are probably the environmental impact. Um, people tend to think that it's a big impact, and it's actually not. Within 10 years, we can leave this license and you wouldn't know we're here. And we try doing that in a uh, terrestrial farm. Run! Run! That looks good. Ah. That's one high powered water blast. <laughs> A bit damp in the air on the feet? Uh, just a tad. <laughs> Probably should have given you some gum boots, eh? <laughs> He's come to the end of the experience, so has Rowan got what it takes? I think Rowan went pretty well. He's pretty keen, and um, he's got a few skills there. And if he's keen to apply himself, I mean, I think he'll do really well. My favourite part of the experience was uh, diving with Mark in the salmon cage uh, and sitting on the bottom and looking up and seeing all the fish circling above us. Yeah, it was really good. Salmon farming workers can gain a national certificate in aquaculture by completing unit standards while working. Dive training is also done on the job. Shift workers typically start on $29,000 and move into other aquaculture jobs like marine farm management or supervisory roles later. The marine farming sector is worth around $250 million a year with over 1,000 farms around New Zealand. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.